Okay, so here in Adobe Illustrator, we're going to have a look at a couple of different ways of making shapes. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add a path width or a stroke um, to our shapes that we're drawing. So we're going to go to the path or stroke down here and just add in a dark blue path to the edge of our shapes. Okay, and in order to change the width of the path, we can come down here to the stroke tool and increase the width. So we'll leave it at 0.125 inches. Okay, and the tool we're going to be looking at here is the pen tool. So click and hold on the pen tool here and just make sure you've got the default pen tool selected rather than the add or delete anchor points. Okay, so now we can draw lines. Okay, we have a stroke set up on our path and there are two different kinds of shape, shapes that you can draw when you're starting out with the, the pen tool. One is an open shape. Okay, so where the lines don't join up at the end of that shape. So if I press escape now, I deselect that line and I've now drawn an open shape so that's why we don't get the line down here on the left hand side if I draw another shape and I'm just clicking dot to dot and then come back to the beginning where we see this little round circle that joins up to the first anchor point you made then you can see you've made a complete shape okay so I'm just going to undo those steps so command Z to step backwards through all those so here if we remove the fill from our shape you can see now when we draw with the pen tool we can draw out an open shape and I'll press escape here to deselect that okay or we can draw a closed shape okay so if I draw a similar pattern and then come down okay you can see we end up with a kind of Halloween style mouth now we're drawing here by just clicking once for each point there's another way of drawing with the pen tool that's really very cool so if we grab the pen tool and this time we click and hold Okay, now you won't see anything different here. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line there. Okay, and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw another horizontal line. And you'll see that when I let go, I get a really nice curve. So I'm clicking and holding, just dragging out a little, it gives that flow between those lines. And you can see that I'm ending up with these nice flowing lines. Okay. So we'll press escape there so we end up with an open shape. And actually, if we look at all our shapes in Adobe Illustrator, things like the circle or ellipse tool, and those shapes are drawn with these Bezier handles. And any curves that you see within type that you're using is originally created using these Bezier handles. So if we click and hold in four points here, you'll see we'll end up with a very rough looking circle. Okay, so essentially that's how a circle is drawn out by the flow of the lines in and out of these points. If we draw four straight points in the same spots, then we just end up with a trapezium type shape. Okay, so we don't have a fill for any of these shapes at the moment. Um, if we turn on the fill, you can see these shapes will fill up. Okay, and we'll just grab a different color here. Okay, and you can see we can fill our shapes with different colors and edit and adjust them. So that's a quick intro into working with the, the Bezier tool and really work on trying to create these curved lines and then these dot to dot lines. Okay, there are lots of other options for these shapes, but really want to stick to the, the kind of basic shape options for the moment. And then we'll move on to some more advanced tips and tricks later.